Well, first of all, welcome Alexander Stewart Thank to Smooth much. FM. Uh, what do you feel about being considering as one of the most precociously talented vocalists of the new generation? <laughs> it's a great comment. It's, yeah. um, it's great to be compared to such people like Jamie Cullum, mm -hmm. um, obviously Sinatra and, uh, and Harry Connick Jr., people like that. Uh, just to share sort of a, a comparison is really kind. When you think you do it with such conviction uh, and energy that, uh, in fact, uh, you can be compared to artists uh, such as Sinatra, Tony Bennett, uh, are you inspired uh, by a time gone by? I mean, I, I love that, that kind of genre of music. I grew up with my parents who would play these records from like Tony Bennett, Ella Fitzgerald, um, but as well from people like um, anything from maybe Michael Jackson to... Stevie Wonder to George Michael to more modern bands like Oasis from Manchester. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah, you combine uh, the old with the new. Yeah. Um, uh, do you prefer to sing more melancholy songs or? I I, I do enjoy yeah. love songs and that kind of melancholy, uh, genre, that kind of style is really beautiful and very sweet. Um, but I enjoy any kind of song um, as long as there's a good melody, a good lyric, um, and it kind of ha I have to feel something. Mm -hmm. I think. How do you develop the, the way you sing, the way you write uh, and, and take on songs? Well, I think the, the, the writing side very much does come from things you know. So if it be a relationship um, or, or just the way something or someone makes you feel is really helpful. Mm -hmm. And if you can kind of write from that, I think that's really good because it kind of makes things more, more real and it kind of means something more to you. Um, but developing music, I think it kind of... It kind of stems from um, if, if the song feels right, if you can engage with the melody, uh, if the band can kind of mm -hmm. feel what you give to, and you sort of, you feed off each other. Yeah. It's good. The live session is there? Yeah. Everywhere? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what about new things? Do you have new plans uh, to share with us? Uh, new yes. Material? Yeah. I'm, uh, I've, I'm uh, performing tonight. Um, here in Lisbon, mm -hmm. it's my first time here. Yeah. Um, but they, um, I, I'm going to be performing some new songs from my new album. Uh, we're in the studio from January, so that should be for release next year. Yeah. Okay. Tonight you play in Lisbon, then London. Uh, do you enjoy touring? It's great. Yeah? It's great. Um, it's, like I said, this is my first time here in Lisbon. Mm -hmm. um, I'm over in China in December for some dates, um, and then obviously London. The touring is great. I mean, it's 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 scary because you're with a new crowd, a new country, um, people that you've never e engaged with before. Um, so hopefully they enjoy the show. Yeah, I'm sure they hopefully. will. <laughs> Thank you. What about tonight's show? Uh, what's going to happen on stage uh, tonight at Centro Cultural de Belém? We have the brilliant uh, Claudio Franco, uh, mm -hmm. who's going to open the show. The show, yeah. Um, and then we're going to take you through a mix of some... Uh, modern tunes, uh, some jazz standards and songs off the first album, um, songs from the live session and a few extra songs from the, the new album. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll meet you there tonight. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>